One of the biggest challenges that I faced, and I know a lot of other people do, is getting consistent characters if you're using AI technology for publishing children's books. So if you're creating a character and you've used other platforms like ChatGPT, what you'd probably find is if you create a character and then try and change the background or change their facial expressions or add another character to that image, that the consistency will just drop away. And what you start with will not be what you end up with. And consistency across every single illustration is just so important. So I've done a lot of research and I've used a lot of different platforms, but there's one in particular that I love to use. So it's called consistentcharacter.ai. What I'm gonna do is to jump on my dashboard and I'm gonna show you how I've been using this uh, platform to you develop my consistent characters within my books and it's just a really easy step-by-step -step process that you need to follow. So let's get onto it right now and if you want great consistency, this program will certainly help you. So I'm on the main website now for consistentcharacter.ai. You can create a free account, nice and easy. It will give you credits to create around about six illustrations for free. So you can therefore trial and test it out if you wanted to. If you scroll down the website, you can see these images that have been created. Now, these are more uh, Pixar looking images. That's not the only images you can create with, with consistentcharacter.ai. I'll show you the different ones you can create. With pricing, once you've used up your credits for the free account, you can sign up to the $29. US Now, that will give you around about $125 illustrations which you can create now if you were to engage an illustrator to create your images for you it would be significantly more than 29 us dollars you could create a whole book based on that one month subscription subscription so think about it that way as well now i'm going to sign into my dashboard this is a couple of illustrations i've been playing around with now you can see the difference with a similar prompt but the character does come up differently. So I'm gonna show you how I've been creating some of these images. So this one here is a Pixar styled illustration, but if we were to go back to the similar prompt and we looked at this one right here, you can see how I've got the consistency between a character that's just standing there and then waving and then the full body image. I can change the background, I can change the uh, facials, I can change the outfit, I can reframe it, I can change the sizes, and it's just so easy. So let's go through some of the basics to create your character. And then if you wanted to, you can go to the guide. The guide will give you a step-by-step -step look at it. There's videos, so if we can click on this here, you can go through and watch the initial video and the demo. And you can also look at how you can start in just five minutes. There's a lot of different information here. So there's a lot of step-by-step -step guide information for you that you can look at. But let's go home and let's create a new character. And I will think through what that character might be. We might use a similar situation as these ones. I might use a watercolor illustration and you can see the difference then and apply it to your own books now what i would normally do is go to character turbo so character turbo will fast track this process for you and get everything set up and you can use ai as well to help you the description of the character now one of the key things that i would highly recommend and which consistent character.ai also recommends is you get your character front on and just get that initial character set up because once you've got that initial character set up as we'll call it your template you can then adjust that and they've also got the options here if we go back home again you can also add multi characters so you can have two different characters which you create initially with character turbo so if i created an additional image of a another if a, another girl here or a parent or another friend of this character that I've got, we can bring them both together and then have consistency with those two characters throughout the book. You can also add other characters as well. So let's look at character turbo and I'm going to start the prompt, the description of the character. Then what we can do is use AI to improve that. 
one of the key tips that I would definitely tell you is to don't have like if we're explaining about a character and wanting to create the character don't have they should not be smiling or they should not be holding it what you need to do is prompt it to exactly what you want so whatever's in your mind put it out um, for the description of the character so let me go through this process I'm going to just pause this for the moment I'll come back with the character description and then we can go from there okay so what I've done is gone ahead and created a prompt now I've gone probably above and beyond what would be recommended for the prompt but what I've done is I want to create a story about a young boy that works in his grandpa's big old barn at a farm and he finds some old parts for an aeroplane and what he wants to do is create an old aeroplane and what he ends up doing is actually flying the aeroplane and then the story is about how that will happen. I want to create that sort of character and I'm going to do it in a watercolour uh, book as well. So I've got a young boy age 12, he's got light coloured brown hair, blue eyes and an olive skin complexion. He's working, wearing uh, workers overalls, they are faded and look like he's been using them in a workshop. Uh, as they have dirt and grease stains on them. The right knee is a patch that covers an old rip in the overalls. Uh, under the overalls, he wears a white t-shirt. He's wearing an old mustard-colored trucker's cap or hat. The brim on the hat looks old and worn. Uh, there's a tractor logo on the front of the trucker's cap. He wears old leather work boots. He's standing in an old timber farm barn. In the background, you can see an old big timber workbench with lots of tools. It's like it used to be used as a mechanics workshop. There's an old timber plane propeller resting up against the wall and an old engine laying on the ground. So you can see how I'm trying to create this initial vision of what I'm wanting. You've got to explore that. And then you can sort of build other things around. I can change the background. I can change everything about this. But that's what I've started with. Now, what I would recommend is you can go to AI Improve. And this will actually improve the writing style to make it more succinct for the illustration to be done. So let's go to AI Improve. And you'll see how it really has shortened it. And it's probably going to make it better for this illustration. So let's go down. Uh, we've got the background information, which so we've got the character description, then the background information, which AI has automatically put in there. Full body front view with a confident and curious expression. So that is something that AI has done. You can change that if you wanted to. It can be side on from the back, where, whichever angle you wanted to. Aspect ratio. I tend to make my books in an 8.5 by 8.5 inch book. So I've left it at square 1.1, but you can choose different portrait styles if you want to, or landscape. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then your style. So this is where you've got the nine different ways you can do it. So you've got Pixar inspired, coloring book, anime, modern western cartoon, retro, uh, chibi. I'm actually not sure what that one is. Action comic. You've got a minimalist vector and watercolor illustration. So I'm going to do the watercolor illustration. If you are into coloring books, you can create the coloring book and you can get that consistent character. But I'm going to go watercolor and let's generate. And it uses four credits for this initial one. So let's have a look and see what this comes up with. So here we go. What I've found is it didn't actually come up with the trucker's hat i think it got a bit confused but what we can do is we can edit the uh information so edit the outfit so what we do is say uh have the uh, boy wear a trucker's cap and so Let's change this up because the background and everything else is absolutely perfect. It's just that one small thing. So it's generating this right now. Let's see how it actually changes it up for us so that we actually got the trucker's cap rather than a broad brim. So perfect. That's all we need. It probably again got confused. I wanted it to be an emblem. I can't even think what my character description was. It was... Um, I don't even think I ended up doing that, but you can see how we've got the trucker's cap with a truck on it, and that's okay. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And the 
character is nice and um, uh, watercolored and bold, and that's exactly what I want. There's the tear there. That's all fine. Even though the prompt was a little bit different, it's still giving me that. Now, the main thing is we want to get consistency with our character. So let's add an action and see how consistent this can be. So we go add action. This will actually give you examples. So you might want the character waving, giving thumbs up, uh, looking or pointing, uh, smiling, whatever it might be. So let's have a look. We're going to go down to... We're going to go hands on hips, standing confidently, upright posture. Let's see if we can get the consistency uh, with that. We might even have um, and smiling. So let's see how we can get the consistency of this character for this particular uh, storybook where it might be the child smiling um, rather than having just a smile without using, say, teeth. So there we go. So... Hands on hips, standing confidently, upright posture and smiling. So if you look at the bottom one there, that's consistent. Then we've got our consistency again. What happens if we want to change the background? So what we're going to do, firstly, we need to change the direction of this character so that they're facing the workbench. Then I'm going to change the background and get that right. So let's go down here and generate and we'll see what this um, actually does. And you can see that the character is now facing the back. Everything is exactly the same as what we've got here. So exactly the same boots, exactly the same overalls, same cap, same everything. It's just that we've turned the character around. So let's have a look at the background edit. So we can go background edit and I'm going to prompt this, show you what I'm prompting and then we'll come back to it. Right, so I'm taking a bit of a risk here. I've got the characters walking through the big timber barn. He has his hand on a really old sheet that has dust all over it. He's about to pull back the sheet to reveal a very old 1930s plane. You can see the propeller of the plane sticking out from the sheet along with the nose or the front of the old plane as he reveals what he's found. So let's generate now. What we're looking for is that consistent of the character to begin with. And let's see if it changes that background and what that's gonna look like. There's no guarantees here, but I'm confident with the character consistency, that's the main thing we're looking for here to begin with. So let's see what's happened. Excellent. That's a great, great illustration there. It's in watercolor. It's got everything we wanted. It's perfect to what this story is going to be about. So uh, the character has found this old plane in the barn. He's now going to unveil what's behind that. And that's going to be my next prompt. So we've got the character who's consistent again with everything I've asked for the character to be wearing. We've got the old plane with the propeller. I think oh, I love it. Oh, it's really, really good. So I've got the characters now pull back the sheet to reveal the entire 1930s plane. It's dusty and old. The character is sitting in the cockpit. Um, the boy has a very excited look on his face. The plane has a small windshield. So I just sort of add that and the rest of the background remains the same. So let's see whether we can get this character consistent sitting in the cockpit of the plane and the entire plane is now revealed so let's go back down here and we're going to go generate and let's see whether consistent character.ai can create this amazing illustration that i've already started with but i'm so excited about this this is a, a this is more than i actually ever expected so it's going along really really well at this point in time Oh, brilliant. There we go. So that is such a good illustration. It's perfect because the consistency of the character, the plane, the, the, the sheets on the ground, the background of the old barn is still there. There's so much to work with here. Um, I'm generally excited about this because it would be such an amazing sort of story that I wanted to create using these illustrations. So you can see, and so what you can do, if you wanted to, you, you can download the images by going up here. You can upscale them. So creating a larger version is ideal for printing so you can upscale it. So let's upscale it. And we wait for this upscale impact. And you actually can have a look at the difference between what it was previously and then what it is now. And this is sometimes really good to have when it comes to creating your book. So you can actually see as you drag across this, the different graininess 
and also you can see when you do upscale the clarity that you've got so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to download remember you can always do a transparent background as well if you wanted to so I'm going to download this image and you'll see if I click here the image is ready and that looks incredible let's have a quick look at the other things so you can do you can look at the demo videos you can create the multi characters by you can have you can develop say one character and the, like that the boy and then you can have the the farmer if you want to or the grandfather sorry and you can upload those two images and it brings it together and meshes it together for a multi character you can look at all the different things here that you can do the editing tools which once you're in there you can do it as well um, so this might be the character like a Pixar character if you wanted to to do more like that um, as I said I've I've done the characters for this one with the old watercolor look and feel but it's up to you and you just need to do the prompts start it off get your characters and then you can download them and the best thing is with consistent character.ai you've got full commercial use of those illustrations and characters so that's one huge benefit and I would definitely recommend using this if it's something you want to do with your children's picture books and I think I might create some more videos about consistentcharacter.ai if you're providing that good feedback there's probably other things that I can do on there that I can show you as well um, but I really hope that you've enjoyed this what I'm going to do is provide some links in the description below of how you can get on to consistentcharacter.ai you can look at the different tutorials and things as well but I really hope you've enjoyed this video as I've created my character and the story about how he's found the plane in the barn and accidentally started it up and then off he goes on that adventure but it really is an amazing tool so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you soon